D-S-L-R Film Noob. After posting that video on the Nexus 7 tablet being used as a monitor slash controller for your DSLR camera, a lot of you asked if there was an easy way to mount this to your rig. Well, what I came up with is this guy right here. This is the RAM mount 7 inch tablet adapter and it's designed to mount the Nexus 7 tablet into cars or onto motorcycles or something like that, but it can also be used to mount it to your rig. This is a spring loaded clamp that squeezes onto your tablet tablet and when it squeezes on it gives a nice solid connection so you don't have to worry about your tablet popping out. It also surrounds the tablet on all sides so you don't have to worry about damaging it if the tablet hits the ground and it has an open space right here along the bottom so that you can reach the USB port and run the cable over to your camera. It uses a one inch ball on the back of the unit and you can use other RAM mount parts to get from this ball to a quarter 20 adapter. The downside to this particular mount is that it runs about $35 for this portion. And then you're gonna have to spend another $10 or so on the squeeze clamp that mounts on this ball and goes to either a quarter 20 male or a quarter 20 female threads. That's kind of a pricey mount, ends up being about $45. So it's not for everybody, but it does protect your tablet well. So let's take a closer look at this adapter mounted to a rig. All right, so right now I am using this uh, ball mount adapter. It's a clamp. You just screw this down to tighten it and mount your monitor. And I have a one inch ball to quarter 20 adapter right here and the one inch ball that's on the back of the tablet adapter itself. If we spin this around, you can see that the USB port is on this side. If you'd like to change that, all you have to do is rotate the tablet around and the screen will reposition itself. It's not that big a deal. This gives you a very nice display, plus you can see that you still have the on-screen display on the camera, so you can utilize both of those. If you need to move this further away from your camera and use it as a controller, that's also a very convenient option. It's adapted really well and nice and solid to the whole rig itself, so you don't have to worry about your Nexus 7 tablet coming loose. It's also, pretty sweet to have this big screen controller right there. If you want to use it to operate the camera or you want to hand this off to someone while you are using the monitor on the back of the camera to frame your shots. The main downside to this mounting configuration is that it is kind of expensive. $45 is a good chunk of change to properly mount your tablet to your rig, but the tablet wasn't really meant to be mounted to a rig to begin with, so you are kind of having to work around it. Someone could probably come up with a cheaper option, and if you do, I would love to see it. Send me some pictures or send me your video if you made one, and I will post it over on the website. For now, I will have links to all the adapter parts I used in the crotch bar below, so you can check those out if you're interested in using this particular mounting bracket for your DSLR camera. I'll also have pictures along with a full written review over at dslrfilmnoob.com. So check that out if you're interested in finding out more about these RAM parts. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe. Whoa.